Okay, today we're going to have a quick look at Ardor, which is a track editing uh, music program for Linux. It's free and open source. First thing, uh, you don't need to, but I always suggest starting up JackD. That way you can interact Ardor with other uh, music applications. So now that we got that started up, let's go and open up Ardor. And uh, it will ask you to uh, give your project a name, a session a name. I'll just call this um, my song. And I'll ask what folder you want to create it in. And what, what Ardor does, it creates a whole project folder. And all the loops or tracks that you import will be imported into that folder. So it keeps the whole project in one folder. And it will create a folder by that name of your project, which mine is my song, under your folder that you set here. And I'm just going to do, use my home folder. If you already have created sessions, they'll be listed there. So type in the name, click New, and you get your Ardor screen. So you have a master track here. You can easily add other tracks by right-clicking here, saying how many tracks you want to add, whether you want them to be uh, mono, stereo, or have multiple tracks. Usually you'll just do mono or stereo and add, and you'll see that it adds another track. Uh, up here, you have your meter and tempo, 4x4. Usually most programs, uh, music programs default to 120 in tempo, but if you want to change that beats per minute to something else, just right click it, hit edit, and you can change that. And that way if you have uh, loops that you've created, they'll, they'll line up with the grid here uh, automatically. So now let's, let's import some loops. I'm just going to grab some that I've made in other programs in the past. I'm going to go up to Session and Import, and I'll go to where I have them saved. Uh, let's see. I'll go here, and I'll choose. Uh, let's go. Just trying to pick a, a song that I want. Let's see. Sorry, this is taking me a second. I'll just grab something from in here. I have loops here and you'll see that I have them in waves. Uh, if you have them in other formats such as mp3 or aug you can import them but Audor will convert them to a wave file at the sample rate that you're working at which right now I'm working at uh, 48,000 Hertz and um, so it will convert them and save them to a folder within your project folder. So I'm just going to select, I guess I don't need to select all those, I'll just select a few. And then I'll click Apply. And it'll take a few seconds, uh, especially if you have them in MP3 format for them to convert it, it will take a few seconds. Once they're imported, you can hit Cancel here, and you'll see that you have your loops. Each gets its own color, and it puts each one on its own track. You can um, obviously grab and move them up to other tracks if you need but you'll see that they fit in the grid because those loops that I've created are um, at 120, 120 beats per minute. So they line up on a grid nicely. Um, by default, Snap to Grid is not enabled. I do have it enabled and that is under View. You go Snap Mode. By default it's no grid. I like to have it on grid for most things so it snaps nicely to our markers on the project. So at this point we can start making our song. You can also see that they're named over here to side, the name of the file. So let's see, I've got a, the base file here. I'm going to right click that, go to base and down to uh, multiple duplicate. And I'll duplicate that, I'll say five times. So I have six total because of the first one here. I'll drag this here and I'm just playing around now. Uh, this drop sound and I'll duplicate that five times and I'll put this effect here and I'll start the kicker up here as well multiply that six times grab this loop start it here and I'll duplicate that once this loop almost looks the same visually as that I'm not sure I haven't messed with these loops in a while so I'm just going to duplicate that one time and loop 3 I'll start here and I will duplicate it 
I don't know, three times. You know, I'm going to duplicate this loop one again and just drag this over so that I have it there. And then we'll listen to what we've just created. I'll press up here back and then press play. So we have a little song going. Another thing I like to do, I have this track I created earlier, is I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, one of these drops. I'm just going to grab that. And what I'm going to do is if you grab uh, over at the edge here, down at the bottom, you can resize these. So I'm going to trim it up like so. You can also hit control and scroll to scroll in. Uh, and I could trim that more, but I'd have to turn grid, snap to grid off because it won't let me trim it anymore. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click that. And what I'm going to do, actually before I do that, I'm going to show you up here, we have this uh, stretch tool, stretch and shrink, re shrink regions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that and I'm going to stretch that sound out. And you have a few options here, the default's nice, and it will stretch it out with out changing the pitch. Uh, we can do that with any of these loops. As long as we have this selected up here, grab that, I'll duplicate that, or not duplicate it, stretch it out. Go back to my uh, selection and move tool, which is the little pointer finger here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I like to sometimes reverse the sound. And then I'm going to trim that down a little bit like so. Oop, not quite that far. I'll grab it there and then I'll duplicate it again. And also I'd like to show you that if you take uh, files or clips and you drag them over, automatically it fades from one to another. So we ha we'll have a nice fade on that little, those two tracks right there. So let's uh, start here. I'll click here on the timeline, press play. So it's nice. We got a little, this one sound a little off. It's not lining up quite right. So I'm going to remove that. But uh, we can also look over here and you can see that we have M for mute so we can turn a track off. And S for solo. Let's do that. It flashes up here to let you know that you're running solo. And you can actually solo a few uh, tracks. We'll press play here. So we got a nice little little fade in sound there. Uh, another thing over here that I'm going to show you is just the volume. You can change the volume of uh, each track if you want it. Now also if you want to fade something in, uh, we'll say, whoops, let's say I want to fade in this sound effect here. You'll notice when you go over it you get these little dots up in the top corners. If you just grab one of those, you can drag it, and that's fading in. So the longer you want to fade it, you can just bring it all the way across there. And we will press play here. And you can tell that FX1 loop, which sounds the same as loop 2, I guess, kind of fades in instead of coming in hard. So at this point, kind of have a little, little song going here. Uh, I don't want the tutorial to get too long, so I'm going to quickly show you. If you go up to Session, you can go to Export and export a session to audio file. And automatically it wants to save your file to an export folder within your project folder. And it saves it as a WAV or one of these other file formats, which are pretty much lossless formats. Uh, if you want to save it as an MP3, this program doesn't do that. But that's another tutorial. I'll show you how to use another application to convert that. Select the audio that you want to, channels you want to export. I always just select all four, um, so you get stereo. I don't know why there's four or should be two, but anyway, I select all four. And you click 